Alright guys, back with a JU-87G. Oh, Horkan. He is flying the, um, yeah. You know, I did a review on this plane for the Iconic Planes. And he actually looks like he actually likes this plane. <laughs> I wish, I would probably like this plane too, if it had its, if it had bombs. Uh, however, with the 237 millimeters, yeah, it just seems like it lacks a little bit. Um, however, it does seem like uh, Horkan actually really likes this plane, so hey, more power to you. However, with them big, them those big 37s, he can do some serious damage at a fair amount of distance here. Picks up the first uh, ground target, almost strikes the pole of death. He's already got two ground targets, and I'm kind of curious what he has on for crew on this thing, because he is just fucking wrecking things. He's almost got this one turned here, working over the defense spots pretty hardcore. And he just needs the one tire. It finishes off the objective here. Of course, it's another attrition mode. Wow, what a nice paint job. That is pretty. Wow. Away he goes. He has got the first objective here, which is the airfields. Which is more of a strategic thing. Um, he's got the other, it looks to be a fair amount of blue players over at the other uh, missile. Uh, facility here. He's headed to the enemy one. Uh, I think he's here looking for some GAs to shoot down, possibly shoot down some uh, fighters. Because that one thing is with the 37s on this on this plane, a little hard to hit air-to-air -air targets, but when you do, <laughs> they're fucking gone. <laughs> yeah. Picks up the uh, first ground target here. He's almost got it. He's doing a nice job of feathering out the guns, way better than I do. Um, I'm usually just stabbing the shit out of him, holding the button down, like boom, 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 boom. And then overheating and this not quite getting the potential out of the plane. Oh. Way he goes. And he flips over here. He's probably looking for... Got some incoming fighter planes here. There he is. Finds the other uh, HS-129B. And like I said, not the easiest thing to hit air-to-air -air targets. But when you do... <laughs> Yep, 175, yeah, there we go. I know those aren't even like full actual hits. Uh, but like I said, once you, <laughs> once this thing does, uh, with two of those rounds, you should be just about able to, yep, completely finish off this HS, HS-129B here. He just needs a little bit more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I always like with a J, like I said, you get on the tail of something, you're just like, fuck, how come you're not hitting? Everything's in the reticle. <laughs> However, he's got that J, that HS all fucked up here. Can he finish him off before he gets out of the circle? He just needs one, probably one shell to actually connect hard. And he should be able to finish this plane off. HS-129 is fucking running. Can he do it? He finishes up the KI-43 on his rear. Didn't lose much health out of that. Oh, but now he's out of the circle. Damn. Thought he was going to get him. That's the problem with the 37s. Uh, they hit like a fucking truck, but once again, unless you're right on the money, uh, yeah. You know what, I've sniped things out at like 900 meters and made a shot, hit something, but then the next time at, you know, 100 meters, you couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Working over the ground targets here. Oh, slowly but surely. Like I said, what trigger? He's got such nice trigger control on this plane. Um, I said like for the most part, me, I'm always just pushing the button, holding it way too long. Uh, they are they have one to one right now, 74 to 72. He's got a couple. Ooh, picked up the second airfield here. And he's got the oh yeah, the bullfighter uh, on his rear. Still working on the ground targets. He's just ignored him. He's just gonna work on these uh, slowly but surely work over these uh, A mounts. However, can't really deny for too long fighters because they are an absolute fucking pain in the ass he's lost his pilot here looking up to pick up some of these lightly armored targets here finishes off that one nails the palm tree that's all right and around he goes i think he has this does he have the specialist pilot on this one i don't know maybe not so he's picking up this eight ground target here he's got this one almost turned halfway nails the uh the AA mount, and he's got both bullfighters right on his tail here. Now, he's got more control than I do, because at one point or another, I would have completely 
just said screw it and started dogfighting. <laughs> Pulls down here. He's still working on the AA mounts here. See if he can pick up the next one. One more. Finishes him off. He's got most of this turned. Uh, he does have a 2 to 1 multiplier. And of course now both GAs are back. So if he can nail both of these guys, uh, it's going to go a long ways to winning this uh, objective here. And both of them are kind of just dogging around here. And, ooh, that GA just apparently decided, nah, 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 we're just going to, oh, no, nope, there he is. Finds the BSH-2 and Nika-4. He's getting worked over hard by AA. So Horkan just needs to get uh, connect a couple shots here with this. One more. Ah, oh, there he goes. Finishes it off. He's got one more GA to finish off. Oh, never mind. He's picked up the I-16. I what is an I-16? Oh, he's, yeah, not good. <laughs> Finds the I-16, knocks him out. He's got the 3 to 1 multiplier right now. He's got the the, uh, the missile base up and running. Finds the BF-110. BF-110 has no idea that he is literally just fucking lucking out in life. <laughs> Oh, God, he loved the sound of those guns. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's just... BF-110 is just like, oh, man. How am I getting so lucky here? Finally, uh, the other BF-110 finishes him off here. Picks up the Blinum. Blinum's a slow, flat target. We should be able to pick him up, no problem. However, he's got a... Oh, GA on his tail. And a Dino. However, that's not the one that was shooting him. So where is the baddie that was shooting him? Ah, there we go. Finds the F2A behind him now. Uh, who is lost complete interest. That's all right. Flips around here. It's 66 to 47. He's got a 3 to 1 multiplier. It's looking pretty nice here for Horkan. If he can finish off the F2A. He's doing everything here, folks. He's nailing targets. He's flipping objectives. He's fucking shooting the planes down. Spectacular. And he's sitting 64.38 right now. Now, however, we'll see what this, how this game goes. And I've had games like this too, like, yeah, fuck, we got this by a bunch. No problem. So he's up and over. Let's see if he can finish off one more BSH-2. Nika-4 is not paying attention. It's all right. Oh, doesn't quite get it. Nails him with the wing. Puts him down to 110 health, and there's a fucking stream of red baddies coming on the way in here. He's working over the uh, BSH here with his rear machine gunner. Doesn't quite get all of him. So he needs to build up a little bit of HP here. Waggle the wings a little bit here. Pull out uh, with that many red baddies here. They got a 20-point lead on um, point-wise. And a three to two uh, lead on the e, uh, the multiplier. So I think he's leaving that to whatever works, and he's going to be working on the center objective here. Um, missiles, of course, are headed this way, so he's getting help from the missile facility. However, they've flipped the uh, airstrip now, so now it's a three to two in the opposite direction. Oh, he's already up to 11k on his personal points. 11.2 now. And he's got a few enemy fighters above him. Uh, lots of red baddies here. Pulls around. He just needs, needs probably one more ground target or at least one more aerial kill to finish this. And fucking somehow they've flipped, yeah, another objective. So we're sitting at a 4 to 1 right now. Let's check out the, the points here. He's sitting at 11,775. And the other team is sitting at... Hmm. That seems to be pretty interesting. Yeah. Looks to be mostly him and possibly one other player on the other side for a human player. And bot versus bot. Go figure. Finds the uh, BSH, can't quite figure him off, pulls back around. It's still 4 to 1 multiplier right now for him. They've picked up the center objective here. It is 3 to 2. <coughs> However, they have both missile f facilities. Picked up another one on the rear cover. And yeah, picks up the winged legend. It's 39 34, 3 to 2. And, like, uh. This is kind of stuff that you just fucking scratch your head at. You know, I've had games like this. You're like, you fucking play your ass off. 
and all of a sudden, like I said, looking at the team versus team, somebody's bots are performing just slightly better than the other team. 33-30 <laughs> right now, um, and unfortunately, he does have another objective that's almost ready to fall. Uh, their missile facilities are working over the airfield, and uh, it looks like to be one more missile, and it's going to be flipped, which will be, of course, 4-1. to one. He's sitting at 14,000 right now. Pulls in. He needs. He's going to try to see if he can pick up this missile facility. Knocks out one of the, uh, the A mounts. And, yeah, there we go. Still 30 to 24 right now. They have a slight lead. Oh. But unfortunately, that missile right there will most likely turn the uh, objective to the south. Hits it. Yep. Picks it up. It is currently 4 to 1. He's already up to a grade 2 attack plane with 15,000. Ouch. Come on, folks. This can't happen, can it? Can it? Can he play <coughs> one hell of a game and lose because bots? Well, let's see here. Finds two planes. Um, yeah, there we go. Finds the I-16 in Kuzma. Kuzma has no idea what's going on. Kent doesn't have the altitude performance. It is still a 3-2 to two multiplier right now in favor of the red baddies. And the center is getting worked over hard. Oh, they've flipped it back to 4-1 to one <coughs> with 46 seconds on the uh, completion of the operation. So he needs to start knocking down planes as fast as he can. Picks up the fighter. Unfortunately, he just does not have the altitude performance to stay with the KIA-43 in the climb. However, yeah, so he drops down. He's got some incoming uh, GAs. Uh, it's 11.15 right now, 4 to 1, 17 seconds left. Oh, 15.7. Can it be? Oh, I fucking feel you, buddy, on this. This is one of those games you just fucking shake your head and go, what the fuck else could you did? Nice game, Horkan. I totally agree on this one. <coughs> you got fucked.